What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV Hotels and I'm coming to you from Rumbau. But it's right in front of the ferry port terminal here. That's why I'm starting out here. But yeah, Rumbau. It used to be the Sheraton Old San Juan. You hear those noises? It's the horn for the ship. It goes off when they're leaving, but don't worry, it's not like they do that all night. <laughs> but when you check in here, this is the ground level with the concierge tour desk and everything. We have a elevator. Yeah. And check-in is on two reception. There's check-in area. This is like the lounge chill-out area. Restaurante. There's some mofongo. Yep. Let me show you out here real quick. So you know what to expect. I actually like it out here on this. This deck here. Oh yeah. I find this to be the best picture when the American flag is blowing in the wind. And you've got three or four cruise ships right there. There goes the Carnival Magic Viking. So we've already had the Rotterdam. I don't know what that one is. That's Carnival Magic and that's the Viking. So there was four ships in at one time. Crazy, right? I think the people with the Viking, I think they are staying the night here because I noticed people with the tags for the Viking staying at this hotel. Like I said, it used to be the Sheraton, now it's the Hotel Rumbau, tribute portfolio with Marriott. So I'll keep showing you around. Okay, so here's the fitness center up here. I'm thinking these are also part of the hotel rooms. So this is a big hotel. Isla Bonita. There you go. This place all yourself. showing you some of the uh, other stuff. They got the ballroom over here. They've renovated this whole place and changed the name. But yeah, let me go show you my room now. Go back across the uh, road here. Let's go up to my room on floor seven. Here's a look at the room here. There's the cruise ship terminal. Got a new ship that just came in. I think the ships don't even arrive at like one in the afternoon sometimes. But uh, here we go. It's a patio. Let's see here if I can get out there. Nope. Bathroom. Everything's brand new. Let me see again. I believe I can get out here. There we go. I knew there was a way. Look at this view. Okay, this is the weirdest 
<laughs> the blinds. Okay, so now for my final review of the Rumbau Hotel right here in Old San Juan. Formerly known as the Sheraton San Juan or Old San Juan. They've definitely installed new carpets, new fixtures. Some of the uh, stuff still says Sheraton San Juan or Old San Juan on the phone. Uh, some of the other things they kept. But they've really replaced most everything that I saw there. There is still some construction going on here in March 2024. Uh, overall, I would say that location is amazing. You're not going to get a better location in Puerto Rico or in San Juan than you're going to get right there at that Rumbau Hotel. The downside to that location, though, is if you're not a fan of cruise ship tourists, then you probably don't want to be there because the cruise ship tourists are always coming in and out. Now, if you are a cruise ship tourist type of person or you like that stuff with great views of giant cruise ships then this is a perfect hotel now occasionally i would hear the steam or the horn the air horn on the ship uh revely revely or whatever you know they were doing uh, maybe come back to the ship kind of uh, calls you do hear that up until about 9 p.m that was the latest that i had heard that uh, there was four or five ships in the port at the same time. That was a lot, and that was on a, like a Tuesday. The customer service there is okay. It's good, but I mean, I don't know. Puerto Rico customer service is, it's like America, like USA. So, um, you know, the customer service is hit or miss, I guess you could say. I didn't have any problems with any of the customer service. I just noticed that it was just bare minimum, even as for a uh, Titanium Elite Marriott. What I mean by that is, you know, they just check in, check you out. There's no like, um, hey, you're a Titanium Elite, kind of welcome like that. Although they did give me what appears to be an upgraded room. So customer service, I would rate out of five, I would give it about a 4.3, to be honest with you. Um, it could be there's a lot of stress there, um, you know, construction, everything. I got that feeling that those guys, those people were under some stress there. So I didn't really blame them. It's not that big of a deal. I don't need like the red carpet rolled out for me or anything. But you do notice a difference compared to other uh, Marriott's around the country or around the world with these guys. Uh, the food was okay. It was, you know, it was okay. It, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. Uh, like I said, so the location is great. The bed was comfortable. The AC was comfortable. The room was nice. Uh, it's a new hotel feel. Uh, great location. So overall, I would have to give this probably a 4.6 out of 5 stars. Um, the big thing that carries this hotel and makes it phenomenal or great, in my opinion, is the location. That location is fantastic. Uh, I thought the hotel quality is pretty good. Also, it's got those like balcony views and the price isn't too expensive i mean i got it for like 256 dollars a night and if you guys have been to puerto rico or san juan recently you know that hotel prices can get really expensive i mean puerto rico is a very expensive place to travel it's it's on par with hawaii so anyways if you guys enjoyed this one and you want to see more uh guides from across puerto rico go ahead and subscribe to the channel and watch some more of these other videos i'll put here at the end i'm now headed towards the west side of the island, but I got some more tours for you.